Welcome back. And today, I have another rice pilaf recipe for you. I'm very excited. This one is ginger and garlic rice pilaf. And we all know that ginger is so good for you. Garlic is so good for you. So we are really maximizing the health benefits out of this one. And it's going to accompany a wonderful Asian meal that I have planned for tonight. Now, we're taking our two inch, two, well, two to half, about a two and a half piece of ginger, fresh ginger. We're getting the skin off of it, just like that. Easy peasy with the back of your spoon. And then, once we get all of that raked off, then we're gonna cut it into matchstick size pieces so that it can be sauteed in the skillet. saute. And the green parts we're going to use later. Okay, now that all that is taking on color, we are going to add our rice. Okay, now if you look closely, you can see that those little grains of rice are beginning to turn more opaque. That's what happens when we're sauteing them. And we are just, in essence, really what we're doing to the rice right there is we're toasting it just a little bit. And what that does is it brings out so much flavor. Oh my word, I can't wait for you guys to try this. It's just so much fun, so good and such a healthy dish for your family too. In goes our four cups of water. And we're just gonna gently stir this around, turn the heat down and clap the lid on. And we're gonna let it go for about 15 minutes until done. And remember guys, whenever you're making rice, once that lid goes on, don't lift the lid until you are ready to serve it. Okay, timer has gone off and we've allowed it to sit for about 30 minutes. So let's see how our little rice baby is doing. Oh yes, oh my word, gorgeous. Now we're just gonna garnish this with a few beautiful, beautiful green onion. Remember we had saved the tops of those green onion for garnish. Look how gorgeous that is and fluffy. Okay guys, well, everything is done. The ginger, the ginger chicken got finished. And so we're just gonna plate up just a little bit of everything, the braised broccoli <laughs> and the ginger and garlic rice pilaf. Oh, and don't forget you guys, <laughs> the inspiration for the whole meal is our homemade copycat Japanese steakhouse homemade ginger dressing. Oh, that's so good. Here, let me try this rice peel off. Oh, that's so good. You would think that that ginger would overpower it, 
but it really doesn't. It comes through just on the side and that finish of that beautiful fresh ginger, really exciting. All right, you guys, there you have it. A very easy, very healthy, flavorful meal that you can make right at home and you don't have to pay all that money at a Japanese steakhouse to get all this flavor. You guys gotta check that out, okay? And when you do, make sure you leave me a comment. And if you're not already subscribed, please do that for us. That really, really helps us out. And I'd love to hear from you. And you know what? That's a wrap for today. And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does.